Hi all, welcome to something I many upload yesterday, but um, Ping kind of beat me. Is the Squad Foundations we expect this to drop at six, and their first set should be sounds like Eredivisie or Ligue 1, but wait and see. Regardless, I will break down what I think my thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below who you would like to see get Squad Foundations card, and which leagues because we're hoping we're not just getting MLS, um, MLS. Eredivisie and the Championship. There's more leagues that can be done, like SPFL, like Furuhashi, Haji, and Boyle being in uh, free that we've went for. The reason a lot of our logic stems from not just desirable players, but silvers. It's all silvers we've boosted. Um, in this case, it's first, second, and third in the league. That's kind of why we've done it, and also. 82, 83, 84 isn't exactly desirable, especially at this stage of FIFA. You might as well go 84, 85, 86. And Martin Boyle propaganda, we always like to suggest a Martin Boyle special card. And if honest, I kind of had you always kind of promoted as well, so I wouldn't exactly deny it. And Furuhashi, um, certainly be popular addition. Everyone's generally boosted up by roughly about plus say 15 stats really it's if they've got all defending them it boosts accordingly MLS there is one card that if it happens could legitimately be something else and it is Moreno 86 rated card 99 pace 95 dribbling he has very high base um, dribbling at 83 but he has high pace naturally already if that card happens, my word, that could be a fun little card to unlock. The reason why I've suggested him as well is because he's got 89 pace for a centre mid. 89 pace, 83 to 1 for a centre mid. He's 5 star skills, 3 star weak foot. That is kind of why we picked him. Imagine that unlocking for about 15 games. Yeah, that ain't going to happen, but you've got to be realistic and hopeful at the same time. Um, Bedoya um, could happen. Quintero. Plus, the way you really look at with them being silvers going to gold, they are in essence getting, because if they're 74s, it's in essence three in form upgrades. That's the way you've got to look at it. The only other way they realistically, realistically could happen was if they were given the featured team of the week player, and that's two in form upgrades. So, see what happens though. Um, this one for me, Vinegary is a left back, left wing back even, is. Juicy pace, juicy dribbling. That's kind of what stands out. Andre Hora actually would be a nice card. I always feel he's someone that, for some reason, doesn't get given special cards for, like, say, season pass or whatever. And this is his time to shine because it's usually his brother that gets the informed and special cards. Let his brother get some for a change. Um, all he would actually need is a shadow and could actually be a very usable centre mid for an 84 raid, especially if it's 10 15 games. Um, but Ivo Rodriguez is nothing too fancy, but it was just to change up options, give a winger, and, and if honest, like just put a hunter on him, really, that's what I would do. And, or even Hawk, whatever you fancy, and you'd probably have a half decent winger. Three Portuguese players, I know, maybe not the most viable. I looked at doing Sporting, um, Benfica, and Porto, but I kept away from Porto just with what I'd seen with the Silvers. Um, Vitek um, could be this ver year's um, Max, if you remember last year, Max, I thought it was going to be like the 86 rate card. He ended up being 84 or something, which was a bit of a letdown. It was a nice card, but it's a bit of a letdown. Um, Wittek could almost be just as good, if not better, than it. Um, Joutek Gera, um, certainly viable. Would definitely be um, quite a lot of good stats. Now, Muru Jr., another one I always like to um, push highly for special cards for objectives. Um, always like his cards, like for a silver, especially at the start of the game when it's been like silver stars and all that kind of stuff. 95 pace, 90 one. Yeah, I wouldn't knock that kind of card for 95 rated. Um, but, you yeah, know, Eredivisie seems to be one of the shouts. Um, I've seen people suggest Cyril Dessers, for example, um, Kleiber, 
and a few others. I've seen Mauro Jr. actually funnily enough in a couple and Vitek in a couple so it seems like some people are maybe on the same lines or unless the weaker are maybe onto something as well. Um, billing Brian and Borgel with three B's for the championship. Um, billing actually, he's, he's like six foot four or something, six four, six five, six six, something like that. He's, he's a big lad, in um, for Bournemouth. Um, Joe Bryan, if you remember his um, award winner card, it was what was it the SBC? That was a fun card for the championship playoff. Imagine something. Close to that, that would be quite nice with um, Joe Bryan and if honest it gives an alternative English left back when you think about it and same with right back with Boggle, it's an alternative to like the Juan Bissakas, Trent Atgran or Arnold. Yes Boggle's not really going to get in any teams unless you're on championship. It just kind of then says when you look at what there is for the championship with um, um, season objectives with um, Grant and Pask just suddenly having more defensive options just helps create a more, more high rated team now Alioski could be in theory one of the best 86 rated cards ever stats wise just solely because you'd have 90 pace, well 91 pace 85 shot, 83 pass, 84 to 1 8 defending and 90 physical literally just put a shadow on him and he'd been saying links would be hard, but that's where icons obviously would be a saving grace. Quiver, the um, Peruvian cam, not naturally going to be the most likely of cards, but it was, he actually looked quite nice. He'd be one of these ones that, because he's like 4 4, he's got good pace, shooting, passing, dribbling um, after he's been boosted. And Al Kuwayabi, uh, Al Kuwai Kibi, sorry. Um, he always seems to get a special. He had a moment last year for uh, the team of the season Saudi. Um, Tots moments card. That was a nice card to unlock. And if honest, give him decent pace and dribbling. For an H4 Saudi winger, it's pretty viable. Uh, it's kind of trying, what you try and do is always pick someone that's from either the, the league or nation that's representing them. Now, J-League, we always do song crassing, we always do propaganda with him as well, we always like to have him eventually get a special card, it would be nice. Cristiano would be a nice throwback to his um, League SBC card in FIFA 18. And Leandro Damio, who has no pace, we have given him pace. That is why he's at 86 pace. We make him usable, um, and at least worth unlocking. Only downside with Cristiano is that he's a right mid. If that was a cam or a striker, then it's a good card, in my opinion. Like he could be a little clunky, but I think he'd still be able to tick a lot of the boxes on Crasson's five star skills. Like that pace and dribbling, yeah, that ticks a lot of boxes for people surely. The ball would stick to him like glue and he'd be a little fun little card, if I'm actually honest. And that's the way you look at it, you've just got to try and give some fun alternatives and plus with two Brazilians it gives options for teams as well later down the line, especially if they're 85, 86. And then finally the last league is the Indian Super League, we have gone with Noguera, Krishna and Sunil Chetri. Sunil Chetri seems pretty academic, Krishna is the highest rated player in the league, so just boosting him to 86 would seem viable. Naguera just looked a very decent midfielder um, for a silver and then when I broke him down for a gold he um, for an attacking cam put a hawk um, hawk or infinite movie boost of shooting and physical could be viable but he looked a nice little cam for an 84 um, for not too much effort especially if it's 10-15 games or in some in usually in 84's case it's goals so it's something that might just be 10 goals and if you get that one game you've got the 84 right out the bat um, right away. Suno Chetri, icon in Indian football, kind of seemed very very logical and suddenly giving him half decent pace, shooting, dribbling and physical would definitely be quite wise. So that is my predictions on this folks, um, obviously I've put them up on Twitter as well for people to kind of discuss as well. Um, for me, the ones I'm most impressed with would be Haji, Moreno, um, Andre Horta, uh, Joe Bryan, 
Cristiano, um, Alioski and Nogueira. So, um, definitely some nice looking cards collectively. Whether they happen or not is a different matter. But score foundations, the potential is there to do more than there is with it. But we'll see what happens though. Let me know, as I said in the comments below, who you think could get a Squad Foundations card, if any. Smash like as always, folks. Sub to the channel for new informant, Twitter, Jesus Legend, and I will catch you all later.